Have you ever heard the saying, God makes all things beautiful in its time? Well, it's a powerful reminder that when it comes to the things of God, everything turns out perfect and unique, especially when it comes to our relationships. If you're worried about finding the right person, don't be. If God is destined you to be with someone, rest assured that they are the perfect match for you. His plans for us are always for our good and show us that He loves and cares for us. In Jeremiah 29, 11, we read, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in a future. This verse is a confident reassurance that His plans for us are the best. Do you believe that there's someone special out there waiting for you? Well, if you do, here's something to remember. When God decides to bring you together with someone, you can be sure that it's the best decision for you. He loves you so much that He'll never give you someone who'll harm or endanger you in any way. Just think about it. If God can show His love to the birds in the sky and the fish in the sea, how much more does He care about you, who He made in His image and likeness? No matter who you are, where you come from, or what your past looks like, He knows what's best for you. But here's the thing, God's plan for each one of us is unique. That includes our relationships. So if you feel that God's leading you towards someone, it's important to pay attention and listen to His voice. Don't let fear or doubt hold you back from the person He's chosen for you. Trust in His plan and follow His guidance. Have you ever wondered how to know if God's leading you towards a particular person? Well, you're not alone. It's a common question. God is interested in your happiness and desires the best for you. That's why we should trust His guidance. 1 Thessalonians 5, 19-21 advises us not to quench the Spirit and to test all prophecies. But how do we know if God is really speaking to us? Well, here are three ways you can find out if God is really speaking to you about someone. Firstly, you must pray for the guidance of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is our helper and comforter. When we seek His guidance, He'll lead us in the right direction. Have you ever been in a situation where you feel like God wants you to be with someone, but you're not sure if it's really what you want? It can be confusing and overwhelming, right? Well, the good news is, you don't have to panic. Instead, ask the Holy Spirit to show you the way. We tend to push people away without realizing that they could be the ones God's chosen for us. It's important, therefore, to ask the Holy Spirit for wisdom and discernment so that we can know if the person we're pushing away is the right one for us. Our past experiences can also affect our perception of love, so it's crucial to examine ourselves to make sure we're not pushing away the person God has for us. Many of us have gone through a difficult breakup or have been hurt in past relationships. It's natural to feel hesitant or even afraid of opening up to someone new. However, sometimes this fear and hesitation can prevent us from seeing the right person that God's planned for us. John 16, 13 to 14 reminds us that the Holy Spirit is here to guide us and lead us towards the truth. We just need to pray for God's help in overcoming our fears and doubts. But when He, the Spirit of truth comes, He will guide you into all the truth. He will not speak on His own. He will speak only what He hears, and He will tell you what is yet to come. He will glorify Me, because it is from Me that He will receive what He will make known to you. If we look at the biblical story of Isaac and Rebekah, we can see how God brings two people together for a purpose that glorifies His name. Abraham sent his servant to find a wife for his son Isaac. The servant prayed for guidance, and the Holy Spirit led him to Rebekah whom he had chosen to be Isaac's wife. So if you're feeling stuck or unsure about your love life, remember to trust God's plan and ask for his guidance. The right person is out there waiting for you. And with God's help, you'll find each other in due time. Secondly, we must seek counsel from trusted believers. Have you ever heard Proverbs 11:14? It says, where there is no counsel, the people fall but in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. This verse is packed with wisdom and it's still relevant today. So, 
Here's my advice to you. Don't hesitate to seek counsel from a trusted Christian friend, colleague, or mentor. The Bible emphasizes the importance of seeking advice from others. When we're going through a tough situation, we tend to overthink and get confused. That's where godly counsel comes in. They can help you gain a fresh perspective and even reveal things that you might have missed. So don't be afraid to ask for help. Remember, there's safety in the multitude of counselors. They will help you understand what God wants for you, and you'll be surprised at how much clarity you'll gain from their advice. So go ahead and reach out to someone you trust. You won't regret it. Thirdly, be patient. Have you ever heard the saying, God's timing is perfect? It's so true. Sometimes we get caught up in wanting things to happen right away, but we need to trust that God knows what's best for us. This is especially true when it comes to relationships. Just because we want to be with someone doesn't mean it's the right time or that's what God wants for us. We need to remember that God can do anything and everything. If He has something planned for us, it'll happen in His own timing. The Bible even says in Ecclesiastes 3.11 that, He has made everything beautiful in its time. How reassuring is that? We may not always understand God's plans, but we can trust that they are for our good. So, have faith and patience, knowing that everything will manifest at the perfect time. Do you ever wonder how some people just seem to effortlessly cross paths and end up together? Well, I'm here to tell you, it's all part of God's grand plan. He loves and cares for you so much that He orchestrates the perfect circumstances to bring the right person into your life at just the right time and place. It could be through a common job, environment, or church. When He speaks, things simply fall into place. But also remember that not everyone is meant to stay in our lives forever. Sometimes, God may be telling us to remove toxic people from our lives, especially those that challenge our faith and beliefs. They can even draw our attention away from God. The devil is always lurking, trying to steal our joy and fulfillment, especially in our marriage. So let's not give him any room to do so by being discouraged, fearful, or depressed about not finding the right person yet. Trust in God's perfect timing, and he'll bring the best person into your life. While you're seeking the right spouse, it's important to draw closer to God and seek his guidance through prayer and wisdom. As Proverbs 4.23 advises us, we should guard our hearts above all else, as everything we do flows from them. If you're wondering how to know if someone is the one God's chosen for you, there are signs to look for. These signs could be good qualities, such as integrity, kindness, and shared faith. When you see these qualities in a person you're with, it's a good indication that they are the one ordained by God to be with you. It's my sincere prayer that you'll not make the wrong choice and that your newfound relationship will give you a new beginning that'll push you into having a fulfilled life. In conclusion, it's important to seek God's guidance in all our relationships. If you've pushed someone from your life, take some time to pray and ask God whether you should reconnect with this person. Then seek counsel from trusted Christian friends or mentors. Be patient and wait for God's timing. Remember, God has a better and more fulfilling plan for your life, and that includes your relationship. Therefore, I encourage you to trust in the Lord and seek His will in all you do, and He will show you the path that will lead you to the right person for you. Do not fight His plan for your life. Accept it and see the best outcome it brings. When it comes to matters of love, it's important to keep in mind that every challenge and experience that you encounter on your journey is an opportunity to grow and improve your love life or marital life. Therefore, it's crucial to appreciate every moment and experience, both good and bad, as they all have a purpose according to God's will for you. In times of sudden change in your relationship, it's essential to understand that it's all part of God's divine guidance for you to have a fulfilling and satisfying life. As stated in Ecclesiastes 3.1, there's a time for everything and every season has its purpose. If you're experiencing a difficult or confusing moment in your relationship, know that there are special reasons for it, and God has a plan for you. 
Look for signs that he wants you to be with that person and trust that he's with you every step of the way. Like I pointed out earlier, and like we always try to tell you in our videos, when God brings someone into your life, there's always a purpose behind it. It's up to you to be open and receptive to his guidance and to trust the process. Although it's natural to feel anxious and uncertain about the future, especially when it comes to matters of the heart, remember that there is no fear in love, especially when it's coming from the one who created it. God is good at companionship and matchmaking, and if he's interested in your relationship, it's for the best. Trust his plan and believe that he'll make everything perfect in the end. In relationships, we often encounter various challenges and complications. However, it's crucial to seek God's guidance, especially for a fulfilling home and marriage. Now, let me show you some signs that may indicate God's intention for you to end up with the person you're currently in a relationship with. I encourage you to watch this video to the end. Subscribe, like, share, and trust God for a positive transformation in your relationship. All right, now let's dive deeper. If your current relationship is hindering your progress in life, it might be a sign from God to end that relationship. Some people find themselves in a situation where the relationship doesn't seem to be moving beyond just dating. Perhaps you notice the other person hesitates to take the relationship to the next level. This clear sign indicates God may not want you to be with that person, as your hearts aren't aligned. Mark 10, 6-8 says, But at the beginning of creation God made them male and female. For this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh, so they are no longer two, but one flesh. This biblical perspective emphasizes the unity and oneness that should characterize a God-centered relationship. When you find yourself in a relationship where your partner's values and beliefs align with yours, and both of you strive for progress in every aspect of your shared life, understand that God is actively involved in your relationship. Even though challenges may arise, God assures you that as long as your hearts are united, there's no need to fear. Doubts and trials may emerge, but be encouraged. These are moments that lead to fulfillment. Dear Saint, if fear begins to seep into your relationship, don't hastily abandon it. As long as love exists between you and your partner, things will work out. 1 Corinthians 13, 4-7 tells us, Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. And it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. God encourages you to hold on to that person because your destiny is intertwined with theirs. Do not let doubt or fear be a barrier. That fear is a sign that God wants both of you together, serving as a stepping stone for you to ascend to the next phase in life. Trust in His guidance and continue to build a strong foundation based on love and shared values. The journey of love can often feel like an arduous and uncertain path, much like the biblical story of the children of Israel spying on the land of Canaan. Despite God's promise of a land flowing with milk and honey, the Israelites were filled with doubt and fear as they journeyed. They were afraid that the people they encountered along the way were giants and that they themselves were not strong enough to conquer the land. However, they had no idea that beyond that fear lay great promises and divine plans. In the same way, you may have been hurt in the past due to a failed relationship, making it difficult for you to trust or allow anyone into your life. You may even feel like you'll never find love again. But the truth is, you can find love again, and you can trust in God's plans for your life. He is the ultimate companion and takes great joy in seeing two people who are meant to be together fall in love. Proverbs 18.22 says, He who finds a wife finds what is good and receives favor from the Lord. This verse speaks to the beauty and importance of finding the right person to share your life with. Fear can be so overwhelming that it can cause you to doubt God's promises and question whether you'll ever find the right person. But always remember that God's promise is that you can overcome fear as long as you're with the right person. 
So trust in Him and be open to the beauty and possibilities that love can bring. In any relationship, it's important to appreciate the uniqueness of your partner and cherish the love that you both share. When times get tough and fear and doubt start to weigh you down, it's crucial to hold on to the love that you have for each other. The more you allow love for your partner to dwell in your heart, the more you'll break free from the fear. Ephesians 4, 31-32 provides a valuable reminder for us all. Get rid of all bitterness, rage and anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. These words encourage us to let go of negative emotions and instead show kindness, compassion, and forgiveness to one another. When fear leaves, you open the doors of joy within yourself, and this helps you to trust and love your partner even more. It's important to believe in God's guidance because His ways of telling you to be with that person are often revealed through the strengthening of your bond and love. I want to let you know that God is using this video to uplift and heal you from the brokenness and fear of being in a relationship. You're not alone, and God is always with you. He will never leave you or forsake you because you are His child. And just as He says, you are a peculiar and special being created by Him to show His praise. Your companionship glorifies God, and He's always working to help you build a strong and joyful relationship with your partner. As human beings, we all crave healthy and fulfilling relationships, and it's no different for those who believe in God. It's said that when God desires us to be with someone, He puts all the necessary means in place for that person to stick with us and shower us with love. This means that when we notice someone's drawn to us and we feel the same way towards them, it's likely that God wants us to be with them. However, it's important to note that love is not just about spoken words, but also about actions. We need to show our partner that we love them by being there for them, spending quality time with them, and supporting them in their endeavors. When we feel the need to draw closer to our partners and can't stay away from them, it's a clear indication that God wants us to be with them. It's important to remember that relationships are not always smooth sailing. There will be challenges and difficulties along the way, but these are all a part of God's plan to take us higher and strengthen our bond and love. We must appreciate and understand this divine guidance and trust that God will help us to make the right choices to have a fulfilling life. Love is a gift from God, and it's His love that can help us triumph in any relationship we find ourselves in. We need to love the person and trust that the person will reciprocate it. We should not be afraid that the relationship won't work out, because if it's meant to be, God will guide us through it. In conclusion, we should always remember that things happen for a reason, and any difficulty we face in a relationship is temporary and intended to take us into fulfilling God's purpose for our lives. As the scripture says in Romans 5.5, And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. With God's guidance, we can have a fulfilling life and enjoy the beauty of love and relationships. When a man truly cherishes you, he'll begin to share certain sentiments Dive into this journey of understanding profound affection. Real love transcends the fleeting thrills of new romance, eclipsing the transient buzz of attraction. It's a deep-rooted bond marked by shared understanding, empathy, and a sense of security that strengthens over time. This kind of love transforms a couple into not just lovers, but into lifelong partners, trusted confidants, and steadfast supporters of one another. But how do you recognize when a man reaches this depth of love? Listen closely to the words he chooses to express his feelings. Specific phrases, when spoken with genuine intent, are unmistakable signs of deep love. Let's focus on a pivotal indicator, the transition from I to we. This change is more than a simple tweak in vocabulary. It's a testament to his emotional investment and commitment. As a man falls deeply in love, his dialogue about the future and his aspirations begins to include you. 
This isn't merely a change in speech. It reflects a shift in his perspective, revealing his readiness to intertwine his life with yours. This move from I to we signifies that he no longer views his path as solitary, but as a shared journey with you. It demonstrates his vision of a united partnership, poised to navigate the challenges and joys of life together. In crafting this message, we steer clear of modern jargon that might obscure the timeless essence of our message. We avoid phrases that might stray from the core values rooted in classical wisdom, ensuring our language resonates with a broad audience without leaning into concepts like postmodernism or reincarnation, which could divert from our grounded, universally relatable message. This dialogue isn't about preaching from a high horse. It's an invitation to witness the undeniable truths of deep, enduring love. We're not selling an idea. We're acknowledging the powerful reality of a love that's deeply woven into the fabric of our lives. 2. The power of expressing gratitude, for instance, becomes a beacon of His love for you. Imagine hearing the words, I appreciate you, from Him. Such a simple phrase, yet it's weighted with profound meaning. This isn't about the grand gestures or the milestones celebrated with pomp and fanfare. No, this is about the everyday magic, the subtle acts of kindness and care that often go unnoticed. In the tapestry of love, these words are threads of gold, highlighting the importance of the small, seemingly insignificant moments. He sees the early morning coffee you made when you were both rushed, the way you listened to him after a long day, even the smile you shared with a stranger. These moments, small as they may seem, are monumental to him because they are extensions of you. His acknowledgement of these gestures, both big and small, is a way of holding a mirror to your soul, showing you just how valuable you are. It's his way of saying, I see you, all of you, and I cherish what I see. This constant appreciation is not about keeping score. It's about recognizing the essence of your being and the light you bring into his life. It signifies that he doesn't take your presence for granted. Every effort you make, every piece of yourself that you give, he treasures. This is a hallmark of a man deeply in love. He understands the significance of your role in his life, acknowledging every little thing you do that makes his world brighter. Let me be clear. When a man genuinely loves you, his gratitude transcends words. It becomes a testament to the depth of his feelings, a declaration that he values not just what you do, but who you are. This is a man who knows the importance of the journey you're on together, appreciating every step, every stumble, and every sprint. This recognition of the mundane as miraculous, of the ordinary as extraordinary, is what sets his love apart. It's a reminder that in the realm of true love, the smallest actions hold the greatest meanings. So, when he says, I appreciate you, understand that what he's really saying is, I value your essence, your being, and all the ways you enhance my life. This is the language of love in its purest form. A love that sees, a love that appreciates, a love that truly understands. Three, trust and safety. Historically, societal norms have placed a heavy burden on men, urging them to don a mask of stoicism and emotional invulnerability. This unspoken rule dictated that true strength lay in silence and emotional fortitude. Yet, the essence of true love has the power to dismantle these barriers, creating a sanctuary of trust and safety. In the embrace of genuine affection, a man finds the courage to lay bare his soul, to traverse beyond the superficial, and delve into the depths of his emotional vulnerabilities. This openness is not limited to moments of fear or insecurity. It encompasses the full spectrum of human emotion. From the whispers of joy to the echoes of sadness, from the currents of love to the tremors of anxiety, every sentiment is shared with unguarded honesty. It's a testament to the strength of your bond, a declaration that in the sanctuary of your presence, 
he finds the freedom to be truly himself. In a world that often values bravado over vulnerability, this level of emotional honesty is a rare gift. It signifies a departure from the facades of strength imposed by societal expectations, inviting a connection that is rooted in authenticity and mutual understanding. So, when a man shares his fears, hopes, and his dreams, know that it's not just words being spoken, it's the language of the heart, a sign of true love, and an invitation to a journey of shared vulnerability and connection. Four is a sign that signifies the depth of his feelings towards you. The moment he genuinely asks, what's your take on this? This question, simple on the surface, is a profound testament to the value he places on your thoughts and feelings. It's not just small talk. It's a revelation of his deep respect and admiration for you. When he faces decisions, big or small, he doesn't just go through the emotions of asking for your opinion. He seeks it because your perspective matters deeply to him, because in the tapestry of his life, your voice is a guiding thread. This gesture of involving you in his thought process is a beacon of true partnership. It's not merely about joint decision-making. It's about recognizing and honoring your insights as vital. This act elevates the relationship to a realm of mutual respect and equality, showcasing his genuine appreciation for who you are. When a man integrates your viewpoints into his life's choices, it's clear he's not just passing the time with you. He's building a foundation with you, brick by brick, where every brick is a token of respect for your intellect and heart. This dynamic of shared decision-making is a cornerstone of a deeply connected relationship. It reflects a bond that goes beyond the superficial, anchored in mutual admiration and respect. It's about him acknowledging your significance in his life, not just in moments of ease, but in every decision that shapes your journey together. In a world where authenticity and genuine connection are treasures, this practice of valuing your opinion is a clear signal of a love that's deep and real. It signifies a partnership where both individuals are seen, heard, and valued. So, when he asks for your viewpoint, know that it's more than a question. It's a testament to the depth of his feelings for you, a sign that in the vastness of his world, your voice, your thoughts, and your presence truly matter. This isn't about grand gestures or overt declarations. It's about the quiet, consistent respect shown through seeking your perspective, a sign of a love that's thoughtful, considerate, and profoundly connected. It's a reminder that in love, the most powerful connections are those built on the foundation of mutual respect and understanding. Five, the phrase, I'm here for you no matter what, carries the weight of an unwavering commitment a testament to the depth of his love. This declaration is far from being mere words. It's an oath, a pledge of his steadfast support and unconditional love. It transcends the ordinary, highlighting a bond that's not shaken by the trials of life. Such a promise indicates that he's not just around for the sunny days, but also the stormy ones, ready to stand by you when the going gets tough. This commitment paints a picture of a future filled with togetherness, where challenges are faced hand in hand. It's about having a partner who's not just present in moments of joy, but also a pillar of strength in times of adversity. He's signaling a future where he is constant, a reliable presence in your life, someone who sees beyond the here and now, envisioning a lifetime of shared experiences and support. When a man vocalizes this level of dedication, it's a clear sign he values the relationship's longevity over fleeting moments. It shows he's in it for the long haul, prepared to navigate life's ups and downs together. This kind of assurance is what sets the foundation for a strong, enduring relationship. It's about creating a safe space where you feel cherished and supported, knowing you have someone who truly believes in the power of your union. Six, let's talk about what keeps us both feeling secure and respected. This gesture stands as a testament to his commitment, not just to the relationship's surface level, but to its core. 
its heart and soul. It's about laying the foundations for a partnership grounded in mutual esteem and comprehension. When he steps forward to initiate these discussions, it's as if he's planting a flag of dedication in the ground, signaling his intent to cultivate a bond that thrives on mutual appreciation and care. He isn't just setting boundaries, he's inviting you into a space where both of your needs, hopes, and personal territories are acknowledged and honored. This act of reaching out to understand and accommodate each other's limits and desires is a demonstration of his investment in the health and future of your connection. It's about more than just avoiding discomfort. It's about creating a shared understanding that enriches your relationship. Imagine this is a journey you embark on together, where the goal is not just to mark territories, but to explore and appreciate the landscapes of each other's worlds. This endeavor requires a level of maturity and compassion that is essential for any meaningful and lasting relationship. By engaging in these heart-to-heart -heart discussions, he shows that he's not only in this for the short haul, but is deeply invested in building a partnership that stands the test of time. This approach to boundaries and mutual respect is the bedrock upon which a healthy, loving relationship is built. It's a clear indication that he values you and the life you are building together. This isn't about restricting freedom. It's about understanding and embracing each other's uniqueness, ensuring that both partners feel seen, heard, and valued. So, when a man willingly navigates these conversations with you, it's a powerful sign of his love and respect. It demonstrates a readiness to build something lasting, grounded on the principles of mutual respect and understanding. It's a commitment to not just being lovers, but allies, partners who are in tune with each other's needs and boundaries. This dialogue is a crucial step towards creating a union where both individuals can flourish, feeling supported and cherished in equal measure. Isaiah 46.4 says, Even to your old age and gray hairs I am He. I am He who will sustain you. I have made you and I will carry you. I will sustain you and I will rescue you. You find yourself at that pivotal moment where every prayer uttered, every moment of waiting, culminates in the possibility standing right in front of you, a person who could potentially be the one you've been waiting for. But amidst the flutter of anticipation, there's a lingering question echoing in your mind. Is this it? Could he or she truly be the one? Here's the crux of it all. What's meant for you won't evade you if you refuse to let it go. There's a distinct someone out there, meticulously crafted to fit into the intricacies of your life. A divine design set in motion just for you. And here's the kicker. They won't play games with your heart. Doubts and uncertainties need not apply here. Believe it or not, you're not alone in this journey. God's got a plan, a partner specifically tailored for you waiting to embark on this journey alongside you. Consider this. Out of the vastness of creation, humans are the chosen conduits for divine purpose. So when it comes to matters as profound as love, trust that it's well within human jurisdiction. Someone somewhere is being meticulously fashioned to complement your existence, to fulfill the longings of your heart. And when this destined individual enters your life, they won't just meander through obstacles they'll confront and conquer every barrier in their path to reach you. Why? Because they're propelled by a higher calling, a calling ordained by the divine. And when the Almighty issues a decree to the one fashioned for you, rest assured it will be fulfilled. Prepare yourself for the extraordinary, for when divine intervention is at play, the ordinary constraints of life fall by the wayside. This isn't wishful thinking. It's the unfolding of a divine promise, the promise you've held on to through prayers and hopes. Your love story isn't subject to the limitations of this world. It's scripted by the hand of a higher power. So take heart, hold on to your faith, and witness as the tapestry of your life intertwines seamlessly with the plans of the divine matchmaker. In the tapestry of life, where every thread is meticulously woven, your story finds its place intricately connected to a larger design crafted by the divine. So lean into the journey, embrace the uncertainties, 
and trust what's meant for you will always find its way to you. You're the one they've been searching for because they're the one for you too. Genuine love and positive energy gravitate towards authenticity. It's a reciprocal exchange. Good attracts good. One surefire sign that the person meant for you will consistently pursue you is that you also resonate with them on a deep level. You've cultivated genuine emotions and aligned yourself with the right person, which inevitably draws them closer to you. Recognize the significance of maintaining your standards while trusting in a higher power to guide you to the right individual. Take heed and avoid missteps. If you desire a quality partner in your life, you must also embody those qualities. You can't expect someone to fulfill your expectations if you're not willing to do the same for them. Divine intervention operates on this principle. If you're seeking the best, you must strive to become the best version of yourself. When you've fully committed to this journey with the guidance of a higher power, you'll have the assurance that the right person will pursue you relentlessly, regardless of circumstances. You're both meant to be together, and divine orchestration ensures that nothing disrupts that union. When God orchestrates a connection, nothing can thwart it. You surrendered your heart to a higher purpose, knowing that the divine plan always leads to something good. Trust in the unwavering faithfulness of God's promises. His word guarantees that the person destined for you will never slip away. They'll always seek you out, recognizing that you're the one meant for them. And when that moment arrives, God will align your spirits in perfect harmony, much like the bond between Jonathan and David. Their souls intertwined as if they'd known each other for years. Similarly, the person meant for you has been spiritually acquainted with you for ages. Your connection has been long established in the realm beyond our physical existence. And when it comes to knowing if someone's truly the one for you, there's one crucial aspect that outweighs all others. God's confirmation. Let me make this clear. If God indicates that someone isn't meant for you, then they're not. Period. No amount of other signs or indicators can override that divine directive. Now, here's the flip side. Even if God confirms that someone is indeed the one for you, it doesn't necessarily mean it's time to dive headfirst into a relationship. Timing matters. If other signs suggest that this person isn't ready or circumstances aren't right, then it might not be the opportune moment. Marriage isn't a trivial decision. It's second only to the choice to follow Jesus. And believe me, God cares deeply about who you marry. He doesn't want you to end up with the wrong person. So when you're seeking confirmation from God about a potential partner, rest assured that He will speak to you and guide you along the right path. As Psalm 32.8 tells us, the Lord says, I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. I will advise you and watch over you. God's guidance may come in various forms. It could be a dream, a vision, or even a message relayed through a friend. The key is to stay attuned to the Holy Spirit because that's how God communicates His will to us. Don't expect flashy signs or neon lights pointing you in the right direction. Instead, listen to that inner voice, that sense of knowing deep within your spirit. That's how God will confirm that this person's the one He's chosen for you. Let me share a personal example. My wife received confirmation from God through dreams and fulfilled prophecies that I was the one for her. It was a profound and unmistakable confirmation of God's will. Moving on to another crucial indicator, peace. When you're in a relationship that's aligned with God's plan, you'll feel a sense of peace that transcends understanding. As Colossians 3.15 says, let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts. If both you and your partner experience this peace, it's a strong indication that you're meant to be together. However, if something feels off despite all the positive qualities, don't ignore it. Dive deep into prayer and seek clarity from God. Lack of peace could be a sign that either this person isn't the one for you, or it's simply not the right time to pursue a relationship. Remember, God's confirmation and inner peace are your compass in matters of the heart. Trust in His guidance and He will lead you to the one He's prepared for you. You see, a man who truly loves God, who walks in alignment with His will, 
is the kind of man you should truly be seeking. It's not merely about surface-level qualities or fleeting gestures. It's about a foundational commitment to God. Imagine this, a man who embodies love in its truest sense, a man who not only professes faith but lives it out daily. This is the kind of man who understands the significance of being equally yoked, of sharing spiritual connection that transcends mere attendance at religious gatherings. He's not just a companion on Sundays. He's a partner in your spiritual journey, someone who uplifts and supports your relationship with God. Now picture this scenario. You're in a relationship where your faith is not just respected, but cherished, where spiritual growth is a shared endeavor. That's the kind of partnership that brings fulfillment and joy, one where both individuals are aligned in their devotion to God. But beware of those who merely pay lip service to faith, those who lack the depth of commitment required for a truly God-centered relationship. Indeed, a man who loves you as Christ loved the church is a rare gem, a reflection of divine love in human form. His love is not merely words, but sacrificial actions, a willingness to lay down his life for your well-being. This is the standard set by God himself, a love that transcends earthly expectations and mirrors the profound love of Christ. So, as you navigate the journey of love and faith, remember this. The one meant for you will pursue and adore you, not just with earthly affection, but with a love rooted in the divine. Seek a partner who not only shares this faith, but lives it out in every aspect of life. For in the union of two souls dedicated to God, there lies the truest fulfillment and the deepest joy. Have you been suspicious of a connection that's been growing stronger lately? You may feel as if you've never gotten close to another person like this before, and you're starting to wonder if this is rooted in a deliberate instruction from God. Here's an observation. It's sometimes easier to see God's movement than to listen to what He's saying. We witness blessings unfold, lives change, and people arrive. But it requires more effort from us to hear His voice because God often speaks in silence. And such silence can often only be found in our hearts. Now you're seeing that you've been blessed with a new connection with someone. But the problem is that you're having trouble hearing the Holy Spirit's voice. Is this person another friend in Christ or are they the partner God has promised you? That is the question. Let's set one thing straight though. A connection as strong as this is more likely the latter. Preacher T.D. Jakes once said, God doesn't just use the destination, but the journey to train you how to hear his voice. Given that you're taking this journey to meet your destined spouse, the Holy Spirit is taking the lead on this. John 14, 26 states, But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. The challenge now is opening your eyes and heart to the advice the Holy Spirit is giving you concerning you and your soulmate. To quote Proverbs 31.10, An excellent wife who can find. She is far more precious than jewels. Whether a husband or a wife, a partner is a treasure that requires your utmost attention to be discovered. The journey to this might not be a road trip, but an excavation. Fret not, my brothers and sisters in Christ. You will be able to take each step with confidence as long as you watch for the following signs. For these are indicators that the Holy Spirit is intentionally leading you to someone. The first sign you will definitely see is when you always end up in the same social settings with them. When God's will is to bring you closer to your future spouse, one of the first things to happen is the stars aligning. What do we mean by this? When God orchestrates an event, you will notice how everything is smoothly falling into place. One of the most visible examples of this is the frequency of encounters with each other that may seem a coincidence at first. You might discover that the two of you are more socially connected than you initially thought, share the same interests, and always bump into each other at social places. Remember that while it is cliché, it's true that people come and go. But when our Creator is saying that you're meant to be with someone, this specific person's route will somehow be entangled with yours. It's like a string. 
keeping the two of you near each other and eventually pulling you closer. The Holy Spirit facilitates this to stop you in your tracks and make you listen. The next sign that you should pay attention to is the gradual reveal of their character. The Holy Spirit will unravel the layers of your soulmate's character. I'd say this is the most exciting part, for this is where you discover the kind of person God has paired you with. It can never be a disappointing feat. Galatians 5.22 declares, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. You'll know that the Holy Spirit is leading you to someone when you even glimpse these fruits. When this person radiates love, joy, peace, kindness, and goodness, when they share your faith and values, and when you're getting to know the real them, you have to believe that God is introducing you to your true love. This is a crucial sign that should not be neglected. In this world, we are constantly in motion. We bump into different people, go in different directions, and often let ourselves be swayed by worldly forces, which is why God acts as our shepherd. However, when we go astray, we can easily find ourselves led into places that are not meant for us. We are vulnerable. Hence, we sometimes end up somewhere dangerous, in a world full of all sorts of forces that push and pull you in different directions. The Holy Spirit is the only force that will lead you on the right path and to the right person. They say that there are countless fish in the sea, but because we're guided by the Spirit, our goal is not to exhaust ourselves and mingle with each and every one. Our goal is to stay put and let God's grace direct us to the right one. The reveal of this person's character is an essential factor because it's how God tells you to pause and appreciate the person in front of you. This is how you learn that they are more than just a random acquaintance. God wants you to love them for their character, for it is what distinguishes a promising companion from a shallow admirer. The last sign is this. You suddenly feel committed to building an elevated version of yourself. This one is a subtle sign, which might make you question if this is truly a part of your adventure in meeting your soulmate. But trust me, this is an indicator that the Holy Spirit is paving the way. Once you develop an awareness of your own areas of improvement, it only means that you are heeding the Holy Spirit's voice. Although this is a common experience as we are already striving to live in God's name, this increases when something more is about to come. It points to a greater blessing, such as meeting your future spouse. In 2 John 1.8, God says, Watch yourselves so that you may not lose what we have worked for, but may win a full reward. When we double the effort to watch ourselves, it's because the Holy Spirit is foreshadowing the reward that's about to fulfill your love life. God is intensifying His work in you to prepare you to fall in love. And of course, this manifests in the way you take care of yourself. How you view yourself is an important factor because the treatment you give to other people is anchored in this. It's this simple. If you don't love yourself right now, you certainly won't think that you're worthy of love and you will most likely reject anyone who tries to love you. Now, if this is a scenario, the Holy Spirit has to help you recalibrate these perceptions in order to make room for your future with your true love. When things change inside you, things change around you, you need this type of change to prepare you for companionship. If you recall, Ephesians 6.11 specifically says, Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. The devil and his schemes are off topic right now, but I want to point out that God gives clear instructions. He commands us so that we may take it upon ourselves and act. There is a very intentional reason as to why he did not say that he will clothe us with the full armor, but rather it is our duty to put it on ourselves. And similarly to my explanation earlier, God demands initiative and action from us. He will not change you or make you better for your future partner. You have to realize the need first and make the decision for yourself. In Ephesians 4, 22 through 24, we read, To put off your old self, which belongs to your former manner of life and is corrupt 
through deceitful desires and to be renewed in the spirit of your minds and to put on the new self created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. The mere fact that you're motivated about self-improvement strongly suggests that something in your heart is giving you a heads up on a promising foreseeable future. Your soulmate is expecting a partner who is 100% ready to commit and embodies godliness. This is an identity you can only have when you embrace the Holy Spirit's call for improvement. Once you feel this way about yourself, don't hesitate, commit to the challenge, for it will lead you right where God plans. There is a fundamental principle you must remember to assess whether or not the Holy Spirit is leading you to someone. When it comes to all things love, Christians have this ultimate blueprint found in 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. All these signs lead to this definition of love. I'm not saying that every stop of the way will be pleasant and shiny. However, every encounter with this person will have generated an outcome beneficial to both of you and pleasing in God's eyes. This is truly the ultimate sign. As long as you remain vigilant and grounded in the Bible, nothing and no one can ever lead you to someone who will not bring good. The best part in all of this is that you have nothing to worry about because this love story is already written and perfected by our Father. All that is left for you to do is to listen as the Holy Spirit instructs you. When you pray, earnestly seek His voice so that He may guide you into where your other half awaits.